forgive isn't it hard to do sometimes like really when someone has really hurt us or has taken advantage of us especially when their intentions were bad it can feel impossible to forgive however forgiveness is an act of self-love i mentioned in one of my previous videos that being in unforgiveness is like being in invisible shackles it enslaves us to a negative past and to negative feelings of the past like anger resentment and bitterness and it steals our peace Something bad someone did to us always rolling around in our heads is torture. We're not even in that situation anymore, but the thought of it alone takes us back into that reality. And how do I know this? Because I've lived it. I've had people hurt me in the past and I've been in unforgiveness and I know the torture of being in unforgiveness. But I learned that me being in unforgiveness didn't only hurt them, it hurt me. And with God's help, I learned how to forgive them. And so today I wanna share with you what I've learned and what I've done to really truly forgive people in my past. I had to admit that I was in unforgiveness. I think all of us have heard that it's right to forgive. It's something that we should do. And even spiritually, the word talks about forgiveness being important. If we want God to forgive us, we have to forgive others. So I wanted to do the right thing, but there were times where I truly hadn't forgiven someone. But out of guilt and condemnation, because I knew that wasn't the right thing, I would try to convince myself that I had forgiven them and just try to live in denial, thinking I could fake it to make it. But of course I was counterproductive because how could I deal with an issue I didn't admit to having? So I had to admit to myself okay I really haven't forgiven that person and instead of beating myself up about being in unforgiveness be grateful that the issue was brought to light so that I could actually deal with it so I think this is the first step to forgiveness putting your pride aside putting your desire to do the right thing or live up to a certain standard aside so that you can be real with where you are and make a real change I had to surrender the desire to hold a grudge or even the score. You know why forgiveness is so hard? Because it's unfair. It takes away the opportunity to even the score with someone that's hurt us because we feel justified to hurt them back. But you know what God brought to my attention when I was in this state of mind? Being in unforgiveness was like a protective shield for me. It kept me on the lookout for what else that person was capable of doing and gave me this false sense of control over the situation. It was my defense mechanism against that person and being hurt again. And and truly forgiving, giving up that ability to hold a grudge or to get back or even the score. It felt like I was giving away power. I was giving away the power that I had to control the situation from here on out. But I realized I don't have to fight my own battles. That's one of the many, many benefits of knowing God's love. He cares about us and our lives, the way people treat us, and he sees it and he's got our back. And my resistance to surrender was basically me saying, I don't trust God. A lack of trust that he will lead me and guide me and fight my battles for me. So I had to make the choice to surrender the desire to avenge myself and put the situation in God's hands and trust that that decision wouldn't leave me powerless. The last thing I had to do was quite difficult, but I had to see myself in them. I think humility goes a long way in forgiveness. I think when someone hurts us, it's easy to start defining that person by that action. They cheated, they're a cheater. If they lied, they're a liar. If they stole, they're a thief. You get what I'm saying? But I had to look in the mirror and think about all the times that I had made mistakes, all the times I'd hurt people myself and repented to God for those actions. Well, I realized that God didn't define me by those things. He forgave me. Hebrews 8.12 Says, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. So I received his mercy. I was forgiven. So what right did I have to not forgive someone else? And here's the thing, this was not easy for me because I would rationalize, well, what they did was worse than what I did, so it's not the same. But that's not true. Just like me, they are a complex individual with all kinds of issues that can't be summed up by that one mistake. So to really forgive them, I had to start seeing them as a human being again and not defining them by that one mistake. So those are the three main things that I did to forgive those in my past. But just know that forgiveness is a process. Sometimes, depending upon the affliction, it may take a long time before you can really get through all these steps. However, I believe that with God's help, you can do it too. And with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because this community is all about helping you know your worth so that you can change your life for the better and hopefully change other people's lives as well. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.